What up internet, TV Geek here with a recap of Mui. Big surprise, I loved this episode too. This is now four in a row where I just sit here going, what? Like at this point I'm a broken record. It's not even really a recap or a critique or anything. Just the whole episode was great. Him ordering stuff in the beginning. 60 bananas. No, six. 60. Who wants 60 bananas? You want 60 bananas. No, I don't want 60 bananas. And then his sister calls. I should have looked out for you. You were just little. And you're freaking out. Okay, bye. And then he's like, you're not going to pick up when the phone rings. And then the doorbell rings. And we all know who's going to be there. The bananas. Sunshine Deli. And then we see Louie actually have a bad show, which is weird. Come on, folks. Just give me a chance. Like, you just want to sit there and yell at the audience, like, do you know what is going on here? This guy comes to LA and is selling off shows, and it's like, these guys don't even care. I was definitely bumming for Louie in the casino. Quick side story, me, Palm Springs, February 2011, playing blackjack, all I got is 100 bucks left, and I say, all in. I win, okay? And instead of taking my money back, I say, you know what? Leave it there. I say, all in, again. And what do I do? Win 400 bucks. Anyway, back to Louis. Everyone else in there is bummed. Louis giving a terrible show. So then he goes to see Joan Rivers. Absolutely crush it. She was cracking me up. <laughs> the joke about her kicking her boobs. Without a brazier, this is how I go to the bathroom at night. <laughs> Actually, you know what? She got more laughs out of me in this one episode than she has ever. You sit a man over 50 on the toilet, it looks like he's making a cup of tea. Like that bit about Betty White was great. I thought I had the lock on old. And then guess what? Back from the dead, Betty White. Dusted off her old dumb tits and trotted them out. And that kind of dig at Dane Cook. You think you're doing so well and suddenly, what's his name? Dane the Clock Guy, that asshole? He, he can come out and take your jobs from you. It wasn't even really a dig, but we all assumed it was a dig. Like, she was just boom. She crushed it. A couple of great moments when she had some guests. How many blowjobs it took to get to the top. <laughs> Do you know how many blowjobs I had to give to get where I am now? Come on, give me, give, give me a number. Give me a number. <laughs> and he goes, 40. Excuse me? Around 40. <laughs> How <laughs> Dave? And then he goes in for the kiss, and it's even more embarrassing than the blowjob, because he's like denied by Joan Rivers. What are you doing, you crazy? I... <laughs> and then she accepts. Like, like... <sighs> what the hell? Come on. Never in a million years. I'm sitting here going, okay, Louis is going to get a school in from Joan Rivers, and then he's going to go back, he's going to apologize to Sam, and he's just going to crush it, right? That's how I thought this episode was going to end. Instead, it ends with Louis boning Joan Rivers. It's for your sake, not for mine. Nobody likes necrophiliacs. Which never in a million years did I expect it to go there. Never. Oh, I mean, clearly the rating is a 10 out of 10. Again, 10 out of 10.